She has the perfect combination of toughness and fairness. She is very bubbly, has a lot of enthusiasm with the kids. She always has a positive attitude, willing to help others. She really has the pulse of what's going on, both in the community and here at school. Lisa's official job is to be in charge of our library and our computers. She is there whenever I need help with finding books, to helping me with technology, figuring out how to get the headphones to work or get the sound to work on the computers. I feel like every single day I am such a pill, honestly. Um, I'm not particularly tech technologically savvy. I can pretty much call her up and she will come as quickly as she can to help me, which allows me to continue teaching. So we have about 250 students here at our school. The kids at our school are anywhere from four years old to eight, almost nine. The students are a great mix of kids from families that work in the vineyards and families that own the vineyards and everybody in between. It's about 50-50, not quite 50-50 for Spanish speakers versus English speakers. Inside, they're all exactly the same. They're all, they're just real people. To the top of the pile, to the top of the heap. If, if someone reads to you and you're just going blah, blah, you know, it's like, um, you know, the character, rah, rah, that character. So <laughs> I don't want to be like that. I don't want them sitting, because then they're going to play with their shoes. Gonna, and where would they, where would their interest be? It wouldn't be in learning how to read or to find out what happens in the story or to want to read another book like that. Fiction. So there's a student who, um, who came to us in kindergarten, very physically active, and just... I think never had um, much experience with school, so one of his rewards for good behavior became spending time with Mrs. Montelli in the library. And so he would work really hard for that, and I just think that that felt good to him. That is a very bright point in his day. Well, you can't learn like this, but if you're, but if you're comfortable and calm, you can learn, and then also, if you know that someone cares about you, when you go to school, you go to school. You want to go to school. Kids have great senses. They don't, you know, maybe they're not perfect at, say, arithmetic, but their senses are really fine-tuned. What we're trying to create with them is knowledge so that they can go home with their think tanks full and happy. The library happens to be <clears throat> sort of right in the center of the school, so it's literally the heart of the school. The kids come in at the very beginning super excited. They each get to choose their own book. Sometimes there's a book that they're especially wanting to know maybe more about dogs or they are fascinated with worms. So she's always in tune and listening to the kids to see what it is they want to learn or read more about. There's more to your contract than what's just written there. There are things that CSEA knows that you don't know that aren't written in the contract. And without your, your reaching out to CSEA or being a part of CSEA, you don't get that knowledge. It helps us so that we are better at our job on site. Lisa is everything in this school. She is, um, she's a good friend to all of us. She cares so deeply about our school, about our community. She's just really special to us.